Hey, I hope you, uh, hope you can join me today for a reading from the book of John from the Peshitta, the Aramaic. It is the spoken language of Jesus. Um, I am using this awesome website called the Holy Aramaic Scriptures. Let's begin in John chapter 10. Amin, amin, truly, truly, I say unto you, that the one who doesn't enter in from the Tara, the gate, unto the Tiarad Ana, the sheepfold of the flock, but rather ascends from another place, he is a Ganaba, a thief, and a Ges Geasa, a robber. But that one who enters in from the Tara, the gate, is the Rayad Ana, the shepherd of the flock. And unto this one, the Natar Tara, the gatekeeper, opens the Tara, the gate, for him. And the Ana, the flock, hears his voice. And he calls his sheep by their names, and goes out unto them. And when he leads out Ane, his flock, he goes before it, and his own sheep go after him because they know his voice. But the Anna, the flock, doesn't go after a Nukraya, a stranger, but rather it flees from him, because it doesn't know the Khaled Nukraya, the voice of the stranger. Ishu Yeshua told them this Feleta, simile or parable, but they didn't understand what he spoke with them. Then Ishu Yeshua again said unto them, Amin, Amin, truly, truly, I say unto you, that Inanna, Tared Anna, I am the gate of the flock. And all those who have come are Ganabe, thieves, and Gaese, robbers, but the Anna, the flock, haven't heard them. Inanna Tara, I am the gate. And if a Nash, a man, should enter in through me, he will live, and will enter in, and will go out, and will find Araya, pasture. Doesn't a Kanaba, a thief, only come so that he might steal and kill and destroy? I have come so that they may have lives for them, and may have that which is abundant for them. Inanna Rayataba, I am the Good Shepherd, and the Rayataba, the Good Shepherd, lays down his soul in place of Anne, his flock. But the Igara, the hireling, who isn't the Raya, the shepherd, and the Erbe, the sheep, not being his own, when he sees a Dibba, a wolf, coming, he leaves the Anna, the flock, and flees. And the Dibba, the wolf, comes and plunders and scatters the Anna, the flock. Thereupon, the Agira, the hireling, flees, because that one is an Agira, a hireling, and isn't concerned about the Anna the flock. Inanna Rayataba, I am the good shepherd, and I know my own, and I am known by my own, even as Abi, my father, knows me, and I know Abi, my father, and I lay down my soul in place of the Anna, the flock. Yet there is for me also other Irbe, sheep, those who were not from this tiara, sheepfold, and for these also it is fitting for me to bring them, and they will hear my voice, and all the Anna, the flock, will become one, and have one Raya, shepherd. Because of this, Abi, my father, loves me, that I lay down my soul, so that I might take it up again. No Nash man takes it from me, but rather I lay it down for my desire. For I have authority that I may lay it down, 
and I have authority that I may take it up again. This commandment I have received from Abi my father. And again, there was a division among the Yehude and the Jews because of these words. And many of them were saying that he has a dawa, a demon, and certainly insane. Why do you listen to him? But others were saying, these words are not that of a demoniac. Perhaps a dawa, a demon, is able to op open the eyes of the blind? Then the Idad Chadutha, the Idad Chadatha, Kudatha, the feast of dedication, Hanukkah, occurred in Arushlan, and it was Satwa, winter. And Ishu Yeshua walked in the Hekla, the temple, in the Estwad Shlemum, Shlem, Shlemum, the portico of Solomon. And the Yehude had surrounded him, and they said unto him, Until when do you take our souls, idiom, which means how long will you keep us waiting? If you are the Meshikha, anointed one, Announce it unto us openly. Yeshua Yeshua answered and said unto them, I have announced unto you, and you don't believe, and the works that I do in the name of Abi, my father, they testify concerning me. But you don't believe, because you are not from Irbe, my sheep, even as I have said unto you. The Irbe, the sheep, hear my voice, and I know them, and they come after me. And I give unto them Heye, lives, which are eternal, and they will not be lost forever. And no Nash, man, will snatch them from my hands. For Abi, my father, who gave them unto me, is greater than all, and no Nash, man, is able to snatch them from the hand of Abi, my father. I and Abi, my father, we are one. And again the Yehude took up rocks to stone him. Ishu Yeshua said unto them, I have shown you many good works from my father's presence. On account of whatever work from them do you stone me? The Yehudi said unto him, It's not because of the good works we stone you, but rather on account that you blaspheme, and that while you are a son of man, you make yourself Allah, God. Wow, isn't that incredible? Right there you have it. It's clear that Jesus is saying he's God. Why would they try to stone him if that weren't the case and in any way they in their own words they say it's not because of your good works we're stoning you it's because you claim to make yourself God does Jesus deny it look at verse 34 Yeshu Yeshua said unto them isn't it thus written in your Namusa law that I have said that you are Allah gods <clears throat> If he called those ones Allah gods on account that the Milthad Allah, the word of God was with them, and the Kathaba, the scriptures, is enabled that it might be broken. Why say you unto the one whom Abba, the Father, has sanctified and has sent into the Alma world, you blaspheme? concerning that which I have said unto you, that I am the Son of Allah, God. And if I don't do the works of Abi, my father, don't believe me. But if I do, even if you don't believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and might believe that Abi, my father, is in me, and I'm in Abi my father. And again they were seeking that they might seize him, and he went out from between their hands.
and he went unto the crossing of the Jordan, Jordan, unto the place where Yohanan, John, had been previously, when he was immersing, baptizing, and he stayed there. And many Nasha persons came to him, and were saying, Yohanan, John, didn't do even one sign. But everything which Yohanan John had said about this Gabra man is true, and many believed in him.